this video, we are going to see about the Framer Hacks Part 2. You may have noticed, while using the slideshow component in the Framer, the sum of the design will be very difficult to make it as responsive. Let me show you an example. This is the design I have made for the slideshow. And we have the desktop breakpoint, tablet breakpoint and phone breakpoint. The desktop breakpoint seems good. But coming to the tablet and the phone, the design has been collapsed. So in this video, we are going to see how to make this slideshow as responsive. So for that, we are going to create the three variants. One is for desktop, tablet and phone. For the desktop breakpoint, we are going to use the desktop variant. For the tablet breakpoint, we are going to use the tablet variant. And for the phone breakpoint, we will use the phone variant. Let's see how we are going to make this. I have created the component for this design. Before that, I have created the slideshow component and I have given the connectivity to this created component. If you want to know how to use the slideshow component, please check out my video of one hour framer course. Now we need to create the variant for this component. So I'm double clicking on it. So we have a desktop variant. Let's create a tablet variant. And let's rename it as tablet. And let's give the width of it somewhere to 700. And some of the text has been hided. So in order to make it as visible, I'm giving the width to 50%. So it looks good. And now we need to create the phone variant. So let me create then another variant and name it as phone. And for this, let's give the width of it to 390. This design doesn't seem good. We need to modify it. For it, let me reduce the width and height of this image somewhat like this and make it at the top. And we need to give the top padding value. And also we need to change the alignment of each of it. Let's make it as alignment to the center, alignment to the center. And for the paragraph, let's make the alignment to the center. And coming to this content wrap, let's make the width to fill. And for this rating, let's make it as center. Let's reduce the padding value at the bottom. Uh, let's make it as 40. Yeah. Now it's look good. So we have a desktop variant, tablet variant, and also the phone variant. Let's go back to the home. We have only one testimonial. Let's duplicate the another one and let's change the image of it. So in order to understand it clearly, I have created the another one. Let's give the connection between these two. So we have two components inside the slideshow. Now we are going to get into the important process. We have two testimonial component. Let's duplicate it again. The same of it too. The same of this too. Now let's change the variant of this to tablet. The same follow-ups here to tablet. Now again I am going to duplicate it. Now let's make this component variant to phone. The same follow-ups here. Phone. So we have a desktop variant, tablet variant and phone variant. Now we need to make the connection. So coming to this desktop, we have already made the connection for this component. But coming to the tablet, we can't make the connection to this components. So let's see how we are going to make this. For that, let me add an another slideshow which is inside this. And again, let me add an another slideshow. So we have three slideshow. Let me arrange this. So coming to the second slideshow, let's make the connection to this tablet variant and make the width to fill and height to fill. And coming to the third slideshow, let's make the width to fill and height to fill. Let's make the connection to this slideshow to the phone one. So that we have made the connection. Let's change the name. This is for desktop slideshow and this is for tablet slideshow and this is for phone slideshow. Actually, we are in the desktop breakpoint. We doesn't need the tablet and phone breakpoint. So I'm going to make the visibility to no. The same for the phone slideshow, visibility to no. So that we only have a desktop breakpoint. 
Now coming to the tablet breakpoint, we need the tablet variants, not the desktop variant. So in order to make that, let me enable this tablet slideshow visibility to S and disable this desktop slideshow visibility to No, so that we have enabled this tablet slideshow. But coming to this tablet breakpoint, we notice there is some slight changes in the design. It's because of this height. So let's go to the slideshow wrap. Let me adjust the height. And also we can see we need a sufficient gap at the top. So in order to do that, I'm choosing this tablet slideshow and I'm going to the padding value. Let's give the padding value at the top to 30 and let me adjust the height also so that we get the appropriate design which we require. Now coming to the phone breakpoint, we need the phone slideshow. So for that, let me enable the visibility to S and for the desktop slideshow, no. And here we can see we need to adjust the height. So let me adjust the height and also we need to give the appropriate spacing at the top. So I'm going to the phone slideshow. Let me give the padding value at the top to 50. It's not enough. Let me make it as 80 or 100. Yeah, it's look good. And now let me increase the height so that we have uh, made this slideshow as responsive for the desktop, tablet and phone. Now let's check it out. For the desktop, it looks good. Now coming to the tablet breakpoint, it's working perfectly fine. Now let's come to the phone breakpoint so that it's working very perfectly. So I hope you understand how to make the slideshow as responsive for the desktop, tablet and phone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your fellow designer. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos about Framework.